Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade in a cutscene. And I'm going to make a series of these very short but very concise videos on how to fade in, fade out, and fade to a color. Right? I'm going to compartmentalize these in different videos. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and let's figure out how to do this. So first of all, we need to add in a level sequence here. And this new level sequence is going to be called Fade In. All right, and in here we have a fade in. Now, what you can do is you can change the fade in time here, but that's not really what you want to do. You just simply want to fade in a track. So you can go ahead and you can add in a fade. Now, one thing you need to do is this has a value of zero to one, one being completely black, and zero being completely, um, well, uh, completely transparent. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the keyframe here. And the way to do that is, you know, sometimes I click on this and I push enter. And when I was prototyping this, it didn't quite work. I don't know why. But nevertheless, you can use the UI widget here. And you're simply just going to click that button here. Now, as you can see, this might be a different uh, widget here. Usually it's on the cubic or auto here. There's a bunch of these different options here, which you can cut, try out. But for the most part, you just simply want to fade in. We're going to move this to the end here. And we're going to select zero, okay? And then we're going to simply do that here. Now, this is actually really easy to do. So if we add this fade in here, right? Um, for example, this fade in, if we kind of drag this onto the scene, okay? Uh, you can see that we have this autoplay, okay? And there's a bunch of different options you can, you can add in here. So you could loop it um, once, uh, or you can loop it exactly X many times. You can loop it indefinitely. Don't loop. You can change the play right here. It doesn't really matter, but there you go. We now have a fade in, and that's pretty much all you need to do. And all it means is that, well, whenever you start, you simply fade in. All right, there we go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.